Go. Welcome to Code Corner with Katie. Let's kick it. Let's see what's on Thinking Man's Mind today. What is the difference between where permitted versus where required? That's another great question. Come on in and let's check it out. This is from IBC 2018, and it's very different from NFPA 101, the Life Safety Code. Every state in the United States has adopted one version of the IBC or another, but if you do any work with healthcare or in the state of Louisiana or Georgia, where NFPA 101 is also used, or even in schools, and government type projects, you need to be familiar with the difference between IBC and the language versus NFPA 101. Here's an example in chapter 10 on means of egress. They're telling you right here in this paragraph that panic and fire exit hardware is required on doors in group H, high hazard occupancies, and in rooms or spaces where you've got an occupant load of 50 or more in group A assembly or E educational occupancies. And it says shall not be provided with a latch or a lock other than panic hardware or fire exit hardware. It says everything you need to know in this one paragraph. Shall is a mandatory requirement. Compared to in NFPA 101, chapter seven is a fundamental chapter. It's called means of egress. And it will say, it's kind of like a standard. It will say, if you use panic hardware, then it needs to meet all of the following criteria. And then you have to go to the occupancy chapter. In this case, let's look at chapter 12 for new assembly occupancies. Here's our reference to that fundamental chapter seven. Any door in a required means of egress from an area having an occupant load of 100 or more persons shall be permitted to be provided with a latch or a lock only if the latch or lock is panic hardware or fire exit hardware complying with 7.2.1.7, unless otherwise permitted by one of the following, and it will list the exceptions. So the the nice thing about IBC, it tells you right in the paragraph what occupancy types that you can use or where permitted uh, versus something that is as required. And NFPA 101 spells it out, but then you have to look at the occupancy chapter. For more information and continuing education opportunities, please visit OS Abloy Academy by clicking in like in the link in the comments below. Please click like and subscribe to this channel. You can follow me on Twitter at Art Consultants and or connect with me on LinkedIn for updates. You can email me with any code questions at katherine.flower at osobloy.com. Thank you for joining me in the Code Corner today. My name is Katie Flower, and my goal is to help you achieve safe security in the built environment.